When you step outside in the morning, you might hear this. And while it sounds pretty, it's probably pretty meaningless to you. But to a bird, it might sound more like this. And that makes sense. Languages rely on rearranging combinations of meaningless sounds to make meaning. From cuneiform to emoji, we've kind of always thought that was our thing, but now some scientists think birds can do it too. Researchers listened to this bird, the chestnut-crowned babbler. Seems like an appropriate name. Specifically, they listened to its different calls and noticed how it made this sound to say it's flying, but added in another note when in its nest. But the big thing here isn't just that birds can do it, it's what that tells us about the evolution of language. And considering language is... The most powerful, dangerous, and subversive trait that natural selection has ever devised. That's kind of a big deal. Especially because it's a struggle to figure out how we evolved languages. Historical linguists have to use a wide range of tools to figure that out, looking at similar words across languages to find their roots. Now consider there are more than 10,000 species of bird in the world, and any single species can have a vocal range with more pitches than a piano, and you start to see how birds could easily put our human languages to shame. E, E, E. Ah. We can only make so many sounds, but from them we've created close to 7,000 different languages and we're bamboozled when people figure out how to speak more than a couple of them, like Tim Donor. Hi, Taola. Is it, yeah? Do you understand? Admittedly, in terms of the meaning we can convey, our languages are way more complex. Consciousness is irreducibly subjective. But the scientists note the bird vocalizations they observed roughly resemble emerging human languages, so it's possible birds are just getting started. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.